Happy 2020. I did it right this time. It blows my mind that I went through that whole editing process and didn't catch that once, but that's just how we do it here. We're just, we're at Lowe's. We're gonna do a big box store tour today. We're gonna go to two different Lowe's. We're here at this one, and then we're gonna go to another one. It looks like this is a brand new shipment. It doesn't look exciting off the top of like me just looking at it, but who knows, maybe there's like a fun Hoya. So let's go take a look. Oh, Reed, I have to yes. introduce you here. Okay. <laughs> this is Reed. Hello. Reed is amazing and beautiful and kind and sweet. This is sweet. And she's one of my best friends and oh. one of my bridesmaids. <laughs> That's me. That's me. <laughs> Tell them one thing about yourself, Reed. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I like plants. Oh shoot, <laughs> you're the person who got me into plants. That's true. Literally. Yeah. So everyone you can thank, Just Heck and Reed. That's me. <laughs> Heck and Reed. I'll have merch one day that says Heck and Reed <laughs> and like on the back and then your face will be like no. right on the breast pocket. <laughs> no, don't be my face Also, a give me an OOTD. OOTD. These pants are crazy, guys. Look at them. Fire. They're like sheer, what are those, like ripply? I guess I like ruching. To, yeah, ruching. You got this thrifted Ralph Lauren. Um, I mean, it's a vibe. Space boots? My space shoes? Shoes, not the boots. We have <laughs> the boots. I have the worry. boots. Don't even, don't even stress. <laughs> Cow print? I, I have. <laughs> Cow print? Just loving the animal print. Yeah, That's Reed's me. visiting from LA. It's true. But I miss Ashley. That's I mean, why. who doesn't love that's Ashley. really sweet. A lot of people don't like me though, as I've learned. <laughs> it's okay, they're That's not okay. here on this channel. Fine. They're not watching this yeah, video. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> now let's get into the plant tour and I have to eat my words. I've already seen some fun plants. So we have this friend. This is a gray salis lipstick plant or Ashenathus radicans. I don't know how to like explain it. I'm not really into lipstick plants or Mona Lisa's just because I'm just not, I don't know. Someone told me that these are a relative of the African violet. I don't think that's true. So if that is true, tell me. But um, this guy is $25. Maranta Luconiora. This guy is $14. All these plants look like they're in pretty decent shape. I just wanna skip around to this spider plant real quick. Cause that is beautiful. Actually. Like, I kind of want it. Really? <laughs> These aren't poisonous, are they? The cats? That's a good question. I just love that. Oh, yeah? That's beautiful. You like all the little babies? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, over here we have some Fitonia. All of these little four inches are going to be $10. Don't know what species of begonia this is, but you can actually kind of see it's a little iridescent. And if we were to shine the flash on it, it would um, it would just sparkle like crazy. We've got a crown of thorns. Reed loves this plant. I do. The flowers she has are it in so pink. Cute. Well, yeah, because the flowers come out of the flowers, exactly. and that just happens forever. Exactly. This is Pilea Moon Valley. This had its heyday a couple of months ago. Everyone was like freaking out over them. I like them a lot too, but I've never liked them enough to actually own one. I just, I don't know, I like the texture. They kind of remind me of Begonia Milano Bellata, but yeah. Some regular pothos. We have some crotons, another Begonia Aglionema. Down here we have some totems with Coco Quar. People say choir, but I think it's supposed to be Quar. Qua? Quar? Choir? <laughs> Down here we have some uh, variegated Peperomia obovata, some ZZs, these guys don't have a price. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> Alocasia poly. These guys probably are gonna be like 15. Yeah, 14.98. I was like, like right there. I talked about it in my last video. Some people think that the Bambinos are the ones that look like this, where they're thin, uh -huh. um, like this exactly. And then the polys actually are rounder, oh. but actually, there's a lot of genetic variation from plant to plant. They're all the same plant. You can give plants whatever name that you want. It doesn't change the fact that they're the same species. Usually people give them different names because they can sell them for more money. For example, 
the Alocasia zebrina, the Alocasia tigringa, and the Alocasia zebrina or tigringa reticulata, four plants. All of those four plants are the same plant genetically. They just have different variation from how they ended up growing because certain plants grow different in different countries. For example, we have like the pothos, which get tiny here, but in Mexico, they're the size of Monstera deliciosa with mid spine fenestrations and everything. So, um, you know, we don't call that a different plant. That's still a pothos. Oh, if something looks a little different, it's a completely different species, which isn't true. And then people try to get a lot more money from it. So. That's the tea. Anyways. <laughs> Up here, we have more pothos. <laughs> Anything. We have some dracaena, <laughs> some coffee plants. For five dollars, some variegated chiflera. What are you? Oh, this is a transcantia. Come on out of there. Or a relative of the transcantia family. I don't understand what this is. Me either. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Back here, we have more spider plants. This is neon pothos. We have philodendron scandens. More Sedum, Pothos, Maranta, and this is Brazil, Philodendron Brazil, which it's interesting to see this here. Usually you don't see Brazil in Lowe's or Home Depot. You only really see it at Samso's or like actual plant stores, but yeah. And then we have some Dracaena, some Maranta, not Maranta, what do we say? Medallion Calathea and Aglionema. Sick. Here's the discount section. Mm, yes. This is where all the plants go to die, unfortunately. That's awful. Some of these orchids are still nice too. Like this one. Mm -hmm. And that one. That one's still blooming, dude. Over here we got some more lipstick plants down low. We have some African violets. Um, no, I don't know. I'm not really a flower person. Yeah. These are kind of cool though. I liked these. I owned one of these. Um, the flower literally goes upside down, um, and then I aerated it, and it just died in like three hours. Like straight up, it just died. Also, that is cute. That is adorable. Oh, there's some whale over there, wow. Over there. Okay, here we have some Cupid Spot Peperomia. Right here, there's some more too. It's like a variegated form. And everything else is kind of the same. We have some Sansevieria right here. These are ten dollars. Dracaena, some more orchids. See that should be on discount. Whoa! Holy crap! Oh my gosh! Yeah. This is Hoya Crimson Princess. It took me forever to be able to get the princesses down. Basically. If the variegation is on the inside of the leaf, then it's a princess. If it's on the outside of the leaf, it's a queen. And you can remember it because it's like a crown for the queen. It's on the outside, it's like on her head. But yeah, I love these. They don't really look heckin' healthy. This one looks nice. Ooh, that is nice. Look at this one. <laughs> I might get this actually. That's My like a really good plan. yeah. I think I might get this one. I'm gonna put it on the ground. You can wait right there. That is so <laughs> full, dude. That is beautiful. We missed a friend. Oh. This is Cindapsus pictus argyrius. Whoa! Wait, hold on. What the heck is this? I've never seen this in my life. It doesn't say what species of clay is yet. I've literally never seen this in my life. Someone let me know what species of clavia this is and if I need to come back and buy it. Interesting. Interesting. This guy is amazing. I talked about him the other day. Unfortunately, it looks like he's got some internal virus. I don't know if that brown is picking up, but um, here's another spot right there too. It's been happening to Monsteras and here's another spot. And some of these like 
big box stores plants and I honestly think it's because they're breeding the plants too fast and it's just like making them sick just like how they do that with betta fish and now it's like betta fish are only living like a year because they get tumors. I want to talk about this. I kind of want to get one. This looks like the rhizomatous version of um, or the rex version of begonia julau which is the one I showed you earlier, Reed. Yeah. Like this is really pretty. I actually really like, why are these strings? Oh, you know what? I wonder if they put water down in these plastic things, the string goes up inside and then these get wet and the water travels up the string and waters the plant. Huh. People do that um, when they go on vacation, have these big water bottles and then they let string travel into their plants. And it like keeps the plants kind of moist. Huh. Anyways. I bet that's what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna just put this somewhere. Yeah, there's like, yeah, okay, see, look. There's water in the bottom of all oh, of these. Okay. Dude, I'm a genius. Wow. This one in particular is really nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm definitely gonna be getting one of these. Um, this one also. I think I like this one. Yeah, let's do this one. That's really, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm stuck on a Fetonia. Thank you. Oops. I didn't want to hurt my Fetonia. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here. I guess we're buying plants today. Harley can't stop me if she doesn't know I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, over here we have some Dracaena. This is Philodendron Scandens. Pothos. We have a Fern. Peperomia Ginny. Pink Fetonia. This is a baby dracaena. Uh, this is a waffle plant. Someone told me, I thought this was croton. Someone told me it was, oh, heckin' geez. Why can I not remember? Someone just told me what this was. Okay, well, it's not croton. Oh, they said it was dracaena Florida beauty, I think. Syngoniums, uh, this is Aurelia. There we go, more begonia species. Sansevieria, ferns, Pilea Moon Valley again. These ones look much more healthy. That looks nice. Got some pretty like confetti spotted begonia. That's nice. And more fun ferns. See that? So heckin' shiny Aww. dude. Crimson Princess Friends. Where are you? Houseplant, sick. <laughs> I love that one. You love that one. We have some dogtail cactus, bromeliads, and then the arrangements. Okay, this aisle smells so horrible because of these pesticides over here, and it just makes me want to vomit. It smells like those um, candles that make mosquitoes leave you alone. Hmm. Here we have some dracaena. Read, I learned that this is not a corn plant, it's just another form of dracaena. I learned that the other day with Chloe. Corn plant. <laughs> um, then we have some filfs. Someone left a comment and they were like, dude, I did not hear what you said as filth. And I was like, I know what you heard and it makes me laugh. <laughs> we have some, is this one Majesty? I'm gonna get this, dude. I'm gonna learn. Doesn't say. Okay, well, someone tell me. Have some more dracaena. This is interesting. This is a sansevieria. Look at this. What is that? What is it know. doing? I don't know. It's like weaving its own leaves. <laughs> it's walking its own path. Exactly. More filth. These guys are only fifty dollars right now. Uh, it says crossed out, and then it says fifty. Kind of sad money trees. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not into these like bigger plants, so I'm not like a uh -huh. big plant stand. I like the immature children. Immature children. All right, should we go to the next one? Yeah. Hopefully we have some more friends. But I'm gonna get these. Let's go take a look. That's really nice. And then I'm gonna get this cute little begonia clean it up at home and probably throw it in my greenhouse. So we just left Lowe's. I just wanted to show you these plants in the sunlight. Look at how pretty that is. That's super cool. I know, dude. 
even the parts that aren't I know they're <laughs> sparkly yeah and then I mean obviously the crimson princess looks pretty everywhere but... <laughs> <laughs> listen yes they have I'm pretty sure that this is an astrophytum which is crazy for seven dollars Unfortunately, it is glued. <laughs> I'm probably still gonna get it. <laughs> well, I'm probably I'd get this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this one. This better. is literally, it's gotta be. It's Anyways, spherical. we're at the second Lowe's. It took us two seconds to find a plant already. <laughs> so, um, I, got, I don't know, it's kind of cool because normally I go to like Lowe's shopping and there's nothing to get because it's either not good quality or, you know, you just, you don't need, you don't need more Hoyas. Well, okay. I know a lot of Lowe's around the country actually don't have Hoya. So I'm not trying to be like, oh, I don't need them. I already have enough. Here, it's pretty common to find a Crimson Princess, like just laying around your local Lowe's or Home Depot. But regardless, we're here and I'm going to show you some stuff. This has a lot more pretty arrangements. Like Reed and I were looking at these pots and that's just like so pretty. Reed likes this one. I do. This is my favorite color, color, blue. I usually get my nails that color. Mm -hmm. Any hoosies. Any hoosies. That's what Reed says all the time. I sure do. Let's check out these plants. So the first thing I saw when I showed up is these beautiful Pothos Enjoy. These guys are probably $20, $24 for these massive. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Wow, I'm really struggling here to get this off. Damn, that's a big one. It's a big boy. Please don't rip off the flowers. Okay, we did it. This enjoys beautiful. I used to have my own plant, but unfortunately, yeah. I just, it wasn't living in my dorm. It needed way more light to keep its variegation. Literally reverted. So that sucks, but. <laughs> I haven't really had a desire to go back to Pothos, so here it will stay. We have down here a lot of bromeliads. These guys are in real pots for $20. They're all flowering. Down here we have some arrangements. Uh, it looks like that says $30, $34.99. Over here we have some more glued plants. So we have, oh. Only oh, some of it's glued. No, I think someone like, yeah, tried to dig it up. We have a little sago palm, some money trees, and some bonsai. These are Christopher's, my fiance's favorite plants because he says that they're nice and thick, you know? <laughs> so we have some of these money trees, real pots for $24.98, which is a pretty good price for like a planted plant, you know what I mean? And we have some of these cute little factory pots. Honestly, say what you will about factory pots. I enjoy the little price. I'm not afraid to say it. Oh my gosh, look, this is a black anthurium. Oh. That's sick. Oh, that's really cool. That's literally sick. Like, way to be so emo. We have, looks like, maybe a variegated, it's just like barely on a couple leaves, uh, African violet. These ones, this Lowe's has like plants in a lot better shape. Read, look at that. They're so sparkly. Oh. All of these are sparkly. Do you see all of that? Oh, wow. And then look at this one. Jeez, wow. that's crazy. Here, move the flash a little bit. Dude, that's literally crazy. Anyways, yeah, if you like flowers, African violets are sick, but I unfortunately don't really like flowers. Okay, up here we have some Brazil. Some, some Brazil. 24 55. Whoa, just perched myself. Can we have some Transcantina Zabrina, some more Petonia. These are all 24. Um, a lot of really beautiful orchids. Every time I see these, I get my hopes up that it's like uh, Peperomia. String of Turtles. Wow. I really could not remember the botanical name of that plant. <laughs> Anyways, um, some more Gracilis lipstick plants. Orchids. 
These are Reed's favorite plants. Oh yes. Reed loves orchids. I love orchids. So. Here we have some more bromelia. And, oh, there's some more people over here. I don't want to bother them. We'll go this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have some potted ZZs. Um, over here for $50 and some rubber trees also for $50. This is a hefty pot by the way. That's like a real cement planter. We have Diffenbachia. These guys are $34.98 and some really good looking like wow that is a really nice looking fiddly fig. Look at the little baby. <laughs> over here we have some Dracaena. To my right, we have more dracaena. Look at that. To my left, we have some snake plants and some potted pots. Some more. Oh, why can't I remember your name? Spider plants. <laughs> this is a really nice uh, crimson princess. Good thing you just got one. Yeah. At the other one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this looks like a couple more crimson princesses behind there. Oh, you're right. Some strawberry begonias and some more philodendron scammons. We got some alocasia poly, $14.98, and two different species of medallion calathea, one of the pink and one of the green. Then down here we have kind of your typical little plants. We got some petonia, some aurelia, baby ferns, more aurelia, waffle plants, dracaena. But here we have the begonias that I just bought. I mean, come on, that's so beautiful. Amazing. Mastophyllum by Petrifolium. Right here. And these are $22. If I had the space and also if I had the money. I recently just bought three wish list plants. So I can't buy plants. When I say recently, I mean two hours ago, while we were on our way to this Lowe's. <laughs> so if I had known I was gonna be doing that, if I had known the collector was gonna be having a sale, I wouldn't have bought the plants at Lowe's earlier. But I can't pass up a $7 astrophytum. So after this, I'm actually gonna go into no buy. I hate saying that, because I don't believe in being a polar, like I don't believe in extremes. Like I don't believe that you can just be like, I'm just not gonna buy any plants, but I financially cannot afford buying any more plants for at least the next two months. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna starve, I'm not gonna die, but I'm not trying to spend all the money that I own. <laughs> Anyways, let's check out these cactus and then, and then that's it. That's it. Except for we'll do a haul in a bit. So, well, I'm a little disappointed. Oh, this one's nice, but I'm not here for the fake glued flowers. <laughs> That's toppy. <laughs> These are our six dollars each. Um, this is tacky. I'm gonna buy this, and then I'll see you guys at home. He's so cute. <laughs> he really is. I'll see you guys at home. Hey friends, I'm home now. Um, it's a couple days later, so I'm wearing a different outfit and Reed's not here anymore. Here's Raven though. Raven will say hi. Say hi. We're not. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you the houseplants that I got on my Lowe's trip and then say goodbye. So you saw this very briefly when I was leaving Home Depot, but this is a begonia species. This is a begonia rex species. I have no idea which one, but it reminds me of begonia julau, which I will briefly flash up on the screen. So I grabbed this. This was only $4.80. Look at how pretty that is, dude. This is the next plant I got while I was out at Lowe's. It is a uh, glued domino cactus. I thought it was an astrophytum, but it's actually not. It's a domino cactus, but I mean, it's beautiful and I love it. Last house plant I got. This is oh, Raven. <laughs> uh, Crimson Princess, which is absolutely beautiful. I love this plant. This one in particular is such a nice variety. And I don't know, it's just really nice. I specifically like this little 
strand right here. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Please make sure that you leave a like, please subscribe, please tweet me at plant me Ashley. Please leave a comment. Tell me which plant you like. If I accidentally passed over a plant too fast that you did not get to look at, please point it out to me in the comments. Be like, sister, what plant is that? And I can be like, well, that was this plant. Also, if you are struggling with your own plants and you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. I always respond. It might take a couple of days, but I do always respond. And yeah, I'm welcome to talk to you or just, you know, help you out with your houseplants. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next houseplant video. Say bye, Raven. <laughs> All right, bye.